I am here with Ben Krasna, which for the Hackaday audience, you need no introduction. The stuff that comes out of your home lab is uh, simply astonishing. Uh, and Ben just told me that uh, he just started with Google X, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the stuff he's exhibiting at Maker Faire. Ben, what do you got? So I brought my project, which is a Ruby laser this year. This is the first kind of laser that was ever invented. And the trick is that it's got a really large capacitor bank that stores energy and discharges all that energy into a flash tube, which is inside this aluminum housing here. So the flash tube emits white light, and that light is absorbed by the ruby rod, and the ruby emits laser light, and that's how the laser works. So it's a pretty powerful shot. It's a, it's a pulsed laser, so you only get one bright pulse, and then you have to spend a few minutes recharging the capacitor bank. So you're actually able to fire the laser here? I did. I ran into a problem yesterday and cooked some of the silicone seals in there, so I had to lay off for today. Um, someone actually took the sample that I had with the holes going all the way through, but the laser is powerful enough to drill a hole about you know, a millimeter in diameter in the steel. And then I got some samples in the wood here, too. Now, if uh, someone is interested in building their own laser at home, uh, can you give us some uh, maybe safety tips and some uh, practical tips? Uh, if you want to build a Ruby laser, uh, they're generally high energy devices, so you'd want to use eye protection. Okay. Uh, probably, if you were going to build this, the bigger safety concern is actually the electrical hazard of the capacitors. So there's eight kilojoules of energy stored in that capacitor bank, and that would be enough to like you know vaporize your finger, I mean literally. So. So now, from a personal standpoint, when I build the project and I'm done, then I think the fun part's kind of over. So do you keep your projects around or do you end up uh, cannibalizing them later? It's actually a really good question. And so no, I generally don't keep up with them very much. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to do lunar range finding with the laser. Wow. That would be pretty awesome. If that doesn't happen, I don't have like a, an industrial use or anything for this equipment. Great, and if people want to learn more about this, where can they go? Um, I think the Wikipedia article on solid state lasers is pretty good. Uh, Ruby laser tech is pretty old. It's actually an obsolete tech. So current lasers aren't made with rubies anymore because they aren't very efficient. Well, great. Thank you so much for sharing with this with us today. Cool. Thanks for talking to me.